When I came to Congress in the early 1990s, I didn't need a PhD to understand that these trade policies were written by corporate America for one very simple purpose. And that purpose was to not have to pay workers in this country a living wage. The purpose of these trade agreements was to enable them to shut down factories in Pennsylvania, in Vermont, and all over this country and move to low-wage countries where they pay people pennies an hour and don't have to deal with unions or obey environmental regulations. <laughs> that was the purpose of those trade agreements, and that is exactly what has happened over the last 30 years. We have lost, since 2001, almost 60,000 factories in this country and millions of decent-paying jobs. There was once a time when people could get a job in manufacturing, earn good wages, good health care, decent pensions. Those jobs increasingly are gone and the new jobs are McDonald's and Burger King. <laughs> Let me just give you a very few, very few examples of how our disastrous trade policies have impacted the people of Pennsylvania. 2013, General Electric announced that it would be eliminating 950 jobs at its Pennsylvania locomotive plant in Erie, moving many of those jobs to Mexico. <laughs> Last year, Allegheny Technologies shut down two steel plants in western Pennsylvania, laying off 600 workers moving to China. 2009, Hershey shut down its York Peppermint Patties plant in Reading, destroying 300 jobs and moved that plant to Monterey, Mexico, where workers are paid a fraction of the wages that workers here were paid. In 2008, Sony closed the last TV manufacturing plant in America in Westmoreland, destroying 560 jobs and moved that plant to Baja, Mexico. And on and on it goes. I have opposed from day one in Congress every one of these disastrous trade agreements. <laughs> Secretary Clinton has supported virtually every one of these disastrous trade agreements. Now, my message to corporate America is your greed is going to end. You are not going to continue to de-industrialize the United States of America. You are not going to continue to shut down plants here and move to cheap labor abroad. You are not going to cut the wages and benefits of American workers and give CEOs huge compensation packages. Together, we are going to create an economy that works for all of us, not just the 1%.